Commentating loses finals of doubles. Is it okay for Carmen to commentary some big sides? Uh, I try and stay neutral, of course, but um, looks like right now it's between Misfire to the Moon, uh, Shy and Nine Tails. And <laughs> just saying that right now. <laughs> well, I mean, you are like good friends with Shy. And yeah, Eric's cool too. Yeah. But, anyways, uh, Super Fujinari Brothers. Uh, that name. Yeah. Are, female, by the way. Ooh, they're actually... I'm not sure if I could say they're in the lead or not, but Rosalina definitely has a lot of percent on her. Oh, well, I mean, Rosalina's kind of scary with her age, though, actually. Yeah, Rosalina's kind of scary in general. Yeah. Man, Woohoo is letting these fairly light characters survive just forever. Yeah. Also, just realized we have the three of the four lightest characters in the game on the screen. There's no jigs. Oh, that's true. So Luigi can just go to town on this, I guess. Ooh, Churro and Robert are doing the strategy of bucketing uh, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is already an incredibly powerful attack. I'm sure that just instantly fills a bucket. Uh, so I sit my whatever. Oh, uh, oh they dropped the bucket though, and with that, uh, Miss Fire to the Moon is right back in it. So. Jordan is very good. I mean, the guy is very good in 1v1s, <laughs> but I'm not sure if but, he can do it. I want to say he can't. Ah, uh, I don't know. Honestly, it's just at this point the match is going to be so volatile because they're both at super high percent. It all just comes down to whoever gets that hit first. Luigi's side smash is very strong and very powerful. Honestly, I feel like Luigi probably has the advantage in the most part like here that. because yeah. yep, just because uh, his frame data is way better than Mewtwo. Yeah. Mewtwo has a heavy frame data but has a ton of knockback to back it up. It doesn't matter so much if they're already way past it. So in essence, uh, floating Andrew with projectile. In essence, I thought he can't or can check out. In essence, I do. Yeah. Alright, looks like uh, Misfire, or Game 3, Misfire to the Moon is currently on game point. Whoever wins this is guaranteed to get into the money. We only actually had six teams this week, and eight. What? <laughs> Something happened over there. But an 8 is where payout goes to 3rd, so if they win this, they're guaranteed money. If not, then they just get 3rd place and a pat on the back. As long as they win. Alright. Wow, I feel Luigi really likes the stage. I don't know about Rosalina. Uh, Rosalina really likes the stage, but I'm not sure that uh, Nine Tails actually does. Uh, says personal yeah. Yeah, I uh, It's really good for her because of all the massive disjointed hitboxes, and she has some insane platform pressure here. And yeah. she can also get Luma at a different height than her and just cover like, all sorts of stuff. But, on the other hand, it also lets people kind of weave around her a bit better. Yeah. So if you're not used to it, then it's not always the best choice. Yeah. I know Mike says not right. Well, uh, it's recording over here. Oh. Yeah. That sounds stupid. <laughs> you didn't know. We switched things up on recording this week. Okay. We're pretty close to Ooh. Uh, 
Even though Ninetales managed to shield the down air from Games Watch, they have a power shield, perfect shield, uh, uh, smash, retaliation. That is one of the weaknesses of being such a light character. Though around the rest of these, it's not, it's not that light. It's weird having the Ouija be the heavyweight here. Yeah, that is weird. And there goes the Ball is such a strong move. That would definitely kill. If Shy was watching his Willis down, going on down there, he probably could have prevented that, actually. Probably, but he just didn't see it coming. Yeah. And that's the sort of move that you don't expect it once, and you eat 25% and sometimes a stock. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, go uh, green, blue for green team. Hey! Oh. No switching teams, Luma. Looks like uh, Rosalina's doing pretty well at stock tanking, but uh, Robear catching Rosalina's recovery with the wind box on up air, just giving him a free punish afterwards while Rosalina was still in super slow hard fall. So, Robear not looking too good there, being the highest percent at two stops. <laughs> uh, definitely percent wise, green team has the lead right now, however, they actually need stock wise out. Yeah, stock wise now too. But they definitely need to actually close that out. Yes. So they. Yeah, I'll match this first week. <laughs> oh, Luigi was getting a combo off on Churro's V2. Uh, V2 actually managed to turn it around on him though. Yeah. I actually thought it was there. Oh, Nine Tails not quite making it to the ledge with his up B. Yeah, yeah, smartly waiting on the platform for the invincibility frames. It's a good idea to make a mistake, but Shy does have another stock to cover for that to keep the stock lead. Yeah. They, they can't really afford to make mistakes, but it's yeah. less critical right now than if the Super Fernari brothers did. Yeah. Because the Super Fernari brothers made a mistake right there. Yeah, but Mew2 right is at the percent where one mistake will end up with him dead. Yeah. Oh. There goes Shy. Why didn't he decide me again? I don't know. I'm honestly not quite sure. Maybe he thought he'd catch Mewtwo with the upbeat. Oh, Mewtwo going. Oh, boy. And like that, it's a match. Well, Mewtwo is going for a super, super so, risky spike. I'm, I'm sorry to put things against Trio right now, but it looks like Nightel may have this. Hmm. Uh, percent wise for sure, just one yeah. good hit, and Rosalina's not exactly lacking for kill moves. Exactly what I mean. And she has something to negate Shadow Ball. Oh, oh yeah, I forget about that. Churro hmm. showing that Mewtwo's recovery is as amazing as ever. Yeah? Oh, okay. The thing is, even with this right now, uh, if Churro manages to land an up smash with Rage, Rosalina is dead. Like, yeah. that is just, that is not even a... Okay. That could end it too. Well, I was wrong. Oh well. Even if he'd uh, up beat straight up, I think he'd fallen too far by that point. He probably just didn't realize he didn't have his jump. I don't know though. I hate when that happens. Same. But let's see where we're going now. Yeah, you probably should. Yeah. Fire still just like. I'm not sure if this actually does anything it's weird, but there's an on switch on the headset. So I might not have been talking all that. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it actually does anything, but I don't know. Oh, I'll turn myself off. I don't know what happened. So now you should say something. Alright, turn it back on just in case. Anyways, uh, going into game four of Town City. Yeah, the other Smashville. Yeah, that was close. Like, yep. I didn't say Townsend. Very similar. Low ceiling blast. Like, that's 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 what I meant. Hmm. Okay. Uh, the low ceiling here is actually only like three percent lower than average, but it's still technically lower. So certain moves yeah. that come close to killing will finish you off earlier. About three percent too, right? <laughs> uh, more than three percent because it's like three percent of the total height. Yeah. Rather than 3% knockback wise. But. How strange would that be if the last lane is the best by knockback? Well, that'd be kind of hilarious. Yeah. But I feel like things would not kill at all. Yeah. Ooh, that team combo was pretty nice. And Luma taking Mewtwo's stock. Very, very solid. Yeah. Um, 
I feel like they kill up a lot better than the other characters, though I'm honestly not sure how Game & Watch kills. Yeah, I'm not Oh, his up smash, his up smash, that is how he kills. But they have to watch out for Mewtwo's up smash, though. Mewtwo's up smash is super good. Ah, uh, friendly fire forward smash from Rosalina ends up taking Shai's first stock. Go back to that uh, not critical mistake at the moment. Yeah. Um, However, on the upside, Rosalina, or specifically Luma's up air, kills ridiculously low percent with low blast. Oh, Mewtwo getting the reversal forward air on Rosalina, coming out to try and. Probably a good thing to do away from the headset. Uh, Mewtwo gets an up smash, but it's super low percent, so it's just damage racking. It's a solid, like, almost 20%, though. Oh, oh, that looked, that looked bad. Uh, Rosalina kept firing shooting star bits at Mewtwo while Chai was right there just repeatedly nairing him. And that, just, that was a lot of damage really fast. Yeah. Churro just kind of content to wait there on the ledge for a while, but does finally get punished when he gets up. Yeah. Oop, Shy's dead though. Oh, that stock is. Let's see oh. if Mr. Game & Watch can manage to kind of BS his way back into it, because from what I know of the character, Game & Watch, his whole character is just kind of BSing things. Okay. Yeah, but he is not able to pull it off, unfortunately. Back to the side smash thing with Luigi. Yep. Alright, yep. Doubles Grand Finals is now up with the Misfire to the Moon versus the Cosmic Kings.